morning. Today is Monday. It is February 27th. I would like to begin today by acknowledging and giving thanks for the traditional and ancestral territory that is our meeting ground today. We acknowledge the many First Nations, Métis and Inuit, whose footsteps have marked these lands for generations. We are grateful for the stewardships and teachings of elders and traditional knowledge keepers, and the efforts of youth and individuals who continue to protect land and language. Please take this time to acknowledge the caretakers of the land, the First Nations, Métis, and Inuit, and those who share and contribute to the land, the four-legged, two-legged, fin-feathered crawlers, trees, plants, water, sun, and moon. This reading is an acknowledgement of the historical relationship between Indigenous and non-Indigenous communities on Turtle Island, and it is a call to action to walk together towards reconciliation. Just a couple of announcements today. Uh, this week is a short week. We do not have any school on Thursday or Friday. Uh, so just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. And in addition to that, uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, we will be having a pizza lunch again. Uh, slices and a pop will be $5. They'll be in the main hallway as we always do. Um, Sarah McLaughlin, if you're involved with that, you know what to do. You meet in front of the school today. Uh, my today's black brilliance. We are almost done with... Uh, with Black History Month, and so a couple more of these, and uh, although I feel strongly that all people should be celebrated in all months, we're going to just continue that, celebrating everybody. Um, but today's Black Brilliance is about Dr. Alexandra Bastini, who is a cardiologist, which means that she specializes in being, being a doctor that helps people with their hearts. She works at Thunder Bay Regional Health Center, and she was the first black female Canadian interventional cardiologist. She speaks three languages and was born in Montreal. She has won many awards as uh, and is a role model for many black girls and women. Okay, and last but not least, um, a piece of one of our beautifully carved oak arches in our hallway fell off last week um, and it's because people are jump smacking doorways. I'm going to ask that um, even though you think it's just one tap and wow you can do it finally, um, the reality is that the structures have a limit to how many times they can be assaulted, hit, tapped before they're destroyed. So I am asking everybody to refrain from that. We know that you're growing, we know that you're finally tall enough to do that, um, but I, I see it in the hallway with some of the signs as well. Um, and if those fall down, they're, they're, uh, they'll break, they're expensive to replace, and the oak especially, um, the wood in those hallways, are, are it's very expensive to, to fix. So I'm going to ask that we refrain from that pretty please and show some respect to our school building. Uh, it is old and it is sometimes a little fragile so I would appreciate that. Uh, that's all I have for you today. I love you. Have a fantastic day of learning everyone.